the proper way on how to buy an American Pitbull Terrier. By telling you what I'm gonna tell you right now, you will realize that you never bought a single dog the way you were supposed to buy it. You might be lucky finding a dog on the side of the street and that dog will be sensational. You might be, you, you might be that lucky person. Or you might be a person that settles with less and you give that as an acceptance because that's two ways to see it, okay? Uh, you might be a man of high standards when it comes to dogs and the dogs will absolutely surprise you. Or you might be a person that has uh, um, absolutely no standards and anything will surprise you. And the two people will talk about this dog in a way that's amazing, you know? But great dogs, and I say great to a certain level because when it comes to genetics, they're not gonna be great. That, that Let's put that on, on writing. They're gonna be great on their level of conduct, their temperament. You're gonna get out on the millions and millions of dogs. It's just numerical. You're gonna get some dog that someone calls a pit bull that's gonna be really a great pet. You're gonna get that. At the same time, that same dog might have brothers and sisters that are coming in the hands of a different person, develop that puppy in a different person. What developing is, is like a, imagine you have this these contractor, you know, uh, uh, um, Humvees, these, these, these vehicles are called the Humvees they make for the United States Army. And you, they sell them to local people, to regular citizens, but if you don't want to take them back, they have bolt guns where they just bolt in some items to, for, for war and that and the car becomes an animal and he is able to do all the things that the, for the regular guy didn't do. So when you have a dog, a puppy, it's like it has plugins. And the, apparently how you know how to work those plugins, you might create a great dog that might be a family man or you might create a, a dog that might go and hurt somebody. The plugins might be there and some people will, will activate them by creating the dog by playing with the dog in a way or, 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 or having the dog to become really aggressive or no. So how you raise them is extremely, extremely important. But you can also raise a snake and very nicely and it'll still bite you. You know, I got a gentleman by the name of uh, David Dennis. He, for 35 years, had these so-called pet bulls. The first gift he ever gave to his girlfriend to now his 35 year, 35 marriage wife year's wife uh it's incredible he was always happy with those dogs he has one of mine now it's the best dog he ever had but uh, at one point he got a dog from some brazilian guy that lived in atlanta that bought some dogs from brazil and that fool sold him a dog by all coincidence i knew of that fool for a long time because he tried to get dogs from me and i denied him so i already knew about him and i even knew the pedigree of the dogs which is some bs dogs from brazil uh, man biters and this man got beat by that dog and that's how he ended up coming to me a small world and he came to me he said Chico I got beat by this dog it was terrible I don't know what to do um, and you know somebody said oh we will give it a shot well they, he, he beat them very hard badly a couple of times and at the, end of, at the end of the day they had to put down the dog and they were Christian guys they are Christian guys uh, educated CEO of a company and they give everything they had. It was a bad match. Great people, crappy dog. So some of these dogs that are street level mutts can be better than some of those dogs that poor breeders are making because they think they know what they're doing and they mixing these genetics the wrong way. They in breeding, line breeding. Sometimes when you have a mutt from the street, sometimes don't have in breeding or line breeding because they breed whoever and that actually works out pretty good. That's why some of the mutts are, are good dogs. First dog I ever had was a mud pit bull, and it was a dog that actually made me fall in love with the breed. Then I wanted to have more than him, better than him, and I was able to create it. It was very difficult. That dog really set the standard very high. So, but how you buy, how you buy an American pit bull terrier, and how you buy any dog in the world, besides going through the process of finding a dog in the street and raising a well and all that stuff, you still need to raise a well. But this is how you go by doing so, okay? This is how you buy, a, 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 have a great experience buying an American Pit Bull Terrier. You need to forget everything that everybody tells you. That's number one. You need to forget the process that you use. You wanna buy by the color, you wanna buy by the price, you wanna buy by the size, you wanna buy by all these different things. You completely forget about those things. If you wanna buy an American Pit Bull Terrier, 
you need to learn a little bit what an American Pit Bull Terrier is. But if you don't have the time to learn what an American Pit Bull Terrier is and all the specific that go behind the bloodlines and all that stuff, then I'm gonna, you already have the way how to, how to purchase an American Pit Bull Terrier the proper way. You know the secret, okay? And so the secret is this. You apply the same thinking, the same mentality that you already are using when you're buying your cell phone in the United States. You either have a Samsung that you love because it's better than Apple. The camera is so much better. The price is so much affordable. You like the Google process, the Google products, and you're happy as one can be. That's one brand. Or you're like me and you like Steve Jobs and the leadership and you trust the technology, you trust the, the being the leaders of the industry, creating the first smartphone and all that stuff, and you trust him, and you, tr you trust the Apple, you know, app network and stuff like that, you get used to it, you love it, you're satisfied, you have an Apple, you know, uh, 15X or whatever it is. That, that's how you buy it, because you trust one brand or the other brand to do a great job. And that's what brands do, established brands, they have engineers, that they work hard for the technology and they work on improving the models. If they, let's imagine that there was absolutely no cost whatsoever to you, no difference. You know, what's the minimum price on a car? Twenty thousand dollars. Okay, just pay the twenty thousand dollars. Pick up the keys of any car you want, whatever price it is, don't matter. Pick the one you want. Not many people pick up the car they currently own. Some of them very smart will go and say, I want a Mercedes-Benz, Maybach, whatever. They know. Somebody even more knowledgeable goes say, I want a Rolls-Royce. Somebody might say, I want a, a Ferrari. Somebody might say, I want a Lamborghini. Somebody might say, I want a Ferrari, latest model, you know, the SF90. My friend has one of those. So you might pick up something higher end, a supercar, a hypercar. And they cost more, they cost millions. And the reason why people will choose those is because they want to get something better from a better brand that they can afford right now. But when you're buying a cell phone, you don't have to spend millions and to get the best. All you have to spend is around $1,700 and you got the iPhone 15X right now. I don't know what iPhone you have model when you're listening to this video, it might be in the future, okay? But that when I make the video, the 15X was the model uh, the king of the hill. I'm making this video uh, in my room. It's dark here and it's still you can see my face. And so you trust the brand. You trust the engineering decisions. When someone is going to make a breeding, there's either breeding decisions to be made or poor decisions to be made when it comes to and stuff like that. So you got to measure the brand of the man that bred the dog. So if people come and say, Chico, I want to know you. You can tell me my dog is red nose and is beautiful, looks kind of like yours. And a lot of times they don't look like mine at all, but the owner just in their head think it looks the same or similar. And even if you look identical, if you don't know the source where it came from, there might be some components that might be related to mine some way, somehow, maybe 20, 30 years ago, but it's not the same. Because it's so precise, so difficult to create something on the level, like let's say of a toes or, or you know, uh, this puppy that I have that I call some yellow. It, it'll be, it'll take time to be to be able to get there. And so, I want you to know that it, once you know the brand, you can trust the brand the same way you bought your cell phone, and you are in the right position. You're gonna change the refrigerator in your home. You don't go and grab the one from the used place because you don't know what you're gonna get. That'll be the shelter. You go to the proper place where they have the proper models and you get yourself a top of the line brand. It could be a GE, it could be a top chef. It could be one of those big brands and you get a good model with a good warranty and you trust them. That's how you'd work. You know, you, if, you have a, a, if you have a good car, like let's say you have a Mercedes Benz, you know, you don't go to the junkyard and try to get a used one because you got a Mercedes Benz. Or, or, or BMW, you go to the dealer and you let the dealer work with your car. Because if you work with someone that is not trust trustworthy, that, re that repair might cost you so much more. Same thing. So when you're buying a dog, make sure that you go to the brand man, one that already created, established a brand, established a bloodline, has great dogs, and more than anything else, use the secret, double secret formula. 
once you're facing the brand, once you're facing Apple, you say compared to what? Compared to Samsung. And you start to compare and at the end of the day, you make your own decision. When it comes to dogs, the choices could be very different, more, much more than the difference between uh, this cell phone and the other cell phone, because there's so many variables that could be wrong uh, on the behavior and the way of thinking of that breeder, on the expectations of the breeder. So what you gotta look at, you gotta look at the scoreboard. And when you look at the scoreboard, basically it's like you comparing Michael Jordan with, with LeBron James. So you compare Michael Jordan with some guy that's bouncing a ball in the neighborhood. So in order for you to do that, you gotta use that super secret formula that I use, it's called compared to what? You know, but this, this one is good. No, no, that one is good. So listen, hey, hold on one second. I'm gonna take your word, but I'm gonna use compared to what? Compare these numbers, these merits to these merits, these accolades to these accolades, the success to that success. The success of Chico Lopez, myself, it could be used for you to find out if any breed on the planet is worth a penny. Study Chico Lopez, study the journey of Chico Lopez, 123pitbulls.com, therealpitbull.com, chicolopez.com, you study me. And then once you study top and bottom, go out there, fish hard, go into deep waters, and see if you find someone that can breed a better dog than Chico Lopez. If that person breeds a better dog than Chico Lopez, you must buy it. You must, you have to. As a matter of fact, I have to. And I want to. If there is someone out there better than me, I want to know how and I want to know why. You got to have better numbers than me, but I'm giving you a sample on how to buy the proper dog. You know? And somebody might say, yo, Chico, but there's good guys that have good dogs. I said, that's good for you, brother. I'm not saying that there's no good guys. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guys out there that are good guys that confuse activity with results. You know, if they don't have the merits, you know, if they're so good, where are the merits? Where are the dogs of the year? How many dogs? Are, ask any breeder. Say, listen, my man, I want to get a dog from you. You sound like a nice guy. How, give me the name so I can do some research on the do and some pictures of the dogs of the year that you created. Just the simple. Dogs of the year. Tell them to give you, you know, two, three, four, five dogs of the year they created. You know, the all the guys get the measurables find out get deep into it then look at their clients look at the clients come back to me i give you some clients some pictures some stuff some of the experiences some of the things they say before they got the dog and the customer service i have and then after you know when they own the dog go back and check them see how proud they are with their dog see if the dog is the best dog they ever have so because at the end of the day what you're looking for is the dog experience what you're looking for is the total experience. You might be thinking you're looking for a dog, but what you're looking is for the memories they're gonna build for that particular dog. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to build memories, you're looking to build uh, experiences. Because trust me, you know, having a, a regular dog, it could be fun for a few days, but then they go flat many times. And when you have a great dog, it's an entire life of happiness. It's an entire life of absolute happiness it's just incredible and then sad when they go but the memories the memories the adventures the time spent you know it's different it's a different experience treat yourself to a great dog there was a, a client of mine told me he's a chico I'm getting a dog from you. I'm, I'm getting older and I realize that there's reading all your stuff and looking at your clients. I realized that as a kid, I wish I had one of your dogs. I came back with the conclusion. I said, wow, this is interesting. This man is like literally gonna give me some, some knowledge right now and I love that. And he says, there's two people that need to have your dog. And I say, yes, who are those people? And he said, number one, a six year old boy that will love to be inspired by one of your dogs and build memories and adventures when your dog never forget the dog the dog of his life and the 80 year old man that needs to have that dog and remembers the best dog he ever had was from you i'm not 80 years i'm 61 but I'll, this might be the last dog i have in my life and i want to make sure that i do get the best dog from the best man i read your entire website there's nothing like it is sensational. Your passion, your wife, is just sensational. I want you to think about these things. I want you to 
put great things in your mind and let them work for you so you can make the right decision. Get the right dog from the right man because you deserve it. My name is Chico Lopez, 123pitbulls.com, 806-500-5552. Thank you.